What's up, peeps? Hold up. Let's chat. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in my damn, my damn house phone ringing. Really? All day, this phone is ringing. Hmm. You know that. Anybody? I have whiting fish, yellow rice. This is actually green and purple cabbage fried with red, green, yellow, orange peppers, onions, and different seasonings. So first of all, mm, 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 mm. you know what you are? Today, Mm. Hot. It's Sunday. So I was on the phone talking to my friends, family, my mother specifically. And I had a good conversation. Good conversation. Yeah. I should not be eating this damn rice, but it's all good. Uh huh. This cabbage is not spicy. So this is actually green. So it's like half green and half purple. And you can see it's purple. The black or the dark dominates. Remember that. All right. Got it. Mm -mm -mm. It's crunchy. Like, I like it. The day you all been bad. I had two bottles. Sorry, two glasses of red wine. The glass of um, white. Two Coronas, wine again. And a glass of um, vodka and cranberry juice. Now I'm back to Corona. If you saw my last video, I got my wine cooler in front of me. So in this video, when I get thirsty, I am thirsty. I just reach in there, grab me some wine. All good. It's all good. It's all good. So, enough about me. How are you all doing? Can't lie. I told you, asses. I'm gonna be transparent on this damn camera. I've been a lazy bag of bones. Very lazy. Hmm. Mm mm mm. I oh uh oh, I gotta try that pellet belt. Nothing is spicy. So why I got the hiccups? I would never know. I guess <laughs> because I'm eating too fast. Like Corona, like Pad the Bell cook fish in a frying pan. She seared. I don't know what kind of fish it was. I think she used great sea oil. First garlic and butter. Different seasonings. I did not do this this way. This was the other method. So, I cook 50 minutes in the oven. 
in the last five minutes or so, I put it on bra. So that it's gonna be brown. It's a good Sunday dinner though. Mm. Mm. You all gotta sit in my tub tonight. It's so cold outside. Mm, mm, mm. So, my wine cooler was set to 53. So I turned it down some so that the beverages can be cooler. Mm. And it's cooler. It's cooler. Mm. So the cabbage is not spicy. This is green and, and um, red cabbage. But with the purple cabbage, red cabbage, it makes everything purple. Mm. Don't know why, but it does. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Mm, mm, mm. It's my second meal and last meal for the day. So after this, yeah. Oh yeah. I am done. Mm, 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 mm. So good. the camera right? Let me check. All right, the camera's right. I could remember, I'm like, hold on. I didn't know. Mm, 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 mm. I should not be eating rice, but I don't eat it often, so I'm good. You all this cabbage? I love it, I love cabbage. You cannot tell. I have red and green cabbage mixed together. That purple cabbage turned everything purple. Mm. Good. This is my thumbnail. There you go.
맛다네요 God, I tore this food up. I'm so full. I don't think that tub, mm -mm, can't do it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. This is a wrap. You all told you all, been a tax season. This video is about to be scarce. So other crap. I gotta make this money. I know I'm poor. No, I'm not poor. I'm not rich. I'm not well off. I'm, not, I'm doing all right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I cleaned my kitchen before I came downstairs. It's only two pots left to clean. I'm going to put. Mm. The cabbage and rice. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, y'all. Uh, I told y'all when I eat, I'm full of air. I am full of air. But what I was trying to say is, mm, I. Clean my kitchen up, except for the pan I cook the baked fish in, and the pot I put the rice in, that's going in the dishwasher. I'm not washing no more dishes. It's Sunday, January 30th, because March the 31st, and I just want to go upstairs. Well, I had to do one more other thing. Go upstairs and just, you know, Figure some stuff out. Mm. My lips get so chapped. I drink a lot of water. What's going on? My hands, you know, my hands are so ashy. I don't think you can see it. I use so much cross mouths. It's so bad that, like tonight, I think if I go to bed, I'm gonna put some Vaseline on my hands. My hands are really rough and hard. They are so ashy. So your hands cannot be in water that's so hot that's gonna kill the bacteria on your dishes. We grew, I grew up this way. So I don't know what it is to wash dishes without Clorox, but make sure you sterilize your bathrooms, your kitchen, those are the main two places. But also to get in the habit of wiping your um, light switches down and your door knobs demo or the chloride wipe, or get that spray that lasts 24 hours. And I do have that by the way, and I do use it. So get in the habit of sanitizing your home. I don't want you all to be sick and contract any form of COVID-19 or COVID, I should say. But make sure you sterilize 
your stuff in your house. It don't have a bunch of people in your house. No. It, even if they fully vaccinated, they can still be um, asymptomatic. So just be careful. I start, I don't have a lot of people in my house. Nope. Excuse me. I don't have a lot of people because I don't know where people have been or where they're going. I don't care because you're not coming up in here. And, um, you know, just be safe. Just protect yourself and your family or whoever you live with. These days, family is a broad term. So family does not necessarily mean that's your blood, brother, sister, mother, or father. So in the day's time, it could be a close friend, a close friend and their relative. Or it could be just several close friends coming together. You know, you all realize that, hey, you are my family. And I respect that. So take care of yourself and protect yourself. And, and most importantly, protect Excuse me. Listen, I don't told y'all. I'm a getting this camera. Either I'm gonna belch or I'm gonna fart. I listen, when people stop breathing, they wanna like like ready to call, call the corner and cut their asses up, not my ass. Because I got two other nostrils. I can I can breathe through my mouth, forget about the nose, or I'm a, my ass. I am one one I am one of the gassiest people you will ever meet. I'm very gassy gassy because I eat a lot of veggies. When you eat a lot of vegetables, you are going to pass gas. Sometimes you should not pass gas because it's something other than gas is solid or liquidy. You get where I'm going with this, right? You all I'm looking at this damn camera on my phone. It looks like Mickey Mouse. I see the two eyes and the mouth down here. I'm looking right at the camera. It looks kind of spooky and satanic. It's so funny. No, it doesn't. I look at my camera, you all, and I see Leah's face in its lens, which means I, I miss her. I saw Leah a couple of days ago. She's doing good. I do want to dog you all. I think home is home when there's a pet in the home. I know you might feel differently against that, but I had a female dog. I don't know. So I had a female dog, you all. Her name was Leah. You saw the video. If you, if you didn't see Leah, check out my other video links with Leah in the title. So I got Leah fixed. She wasn't one years old yet. I got her fixed. I said, no, you were not going to menstruate in my house. You're not bringing no puppies here. But the sad thing, not the sad thing, the thing that shocked me was I did not know female dogs hump. She kept humping my bed. I'm like, but you're fixed. It's, it's so weird. When I saw that dog humping the bed, I'm like, stop it. And I didn't realize that, you know, I thought when you get a dog fixed, it takes care of everything. The menstrual cycle, she can't get pregnant. She does not have any horno, horny, I said horno, horny, Feelings, which want to hump stuff. Now, she don't hump people when they come to my house. She always go upstairs. She never humped the bed down on, on the main level by my, in my kitchen area. By the, my, actually, my mud room. Outside the mud room. She never humped that bed, but she would tear the bed upstairs beside my bed. Tear that bed up. If she was a dude and she humped another female, oh no, that would have been done. Because she would have tore their asses up. My dog, it's not my dog anymore. She's still my dog. It's just a relative has her. I still go by and check on her. It's so funny. When I go see Leah, she still runs up to me as if she's just, she still lives with me. Now, when I leave, she's like, okay. I went to one relative's house, the same relative's house. I was sitting on the sofa. Leah came up to me. And she put a pause in my lap and she looked at me and she, ah, ah, ah. like, okay, I'm ready to go home. When are you taking me home? You know, because I trained her. I trained that dog 
to use the pad. I didn't walk my dog. I mean, I did walk her, but if I did not walk her, she not use the pad either upstairs in my bathroom or downstairs outside the mudroom. I trained to lay down, um, sit, go upstairs, go home. Go home means her cage. And go outside means, if I said, want to go outside, she knew go outside means go outside, you know, outside the house. And I taught her some other commands. Um, I forget what it were right now. But no, she's a good dog. I love dogs. I do want to get, when I'm retired, I will get another another dog. Sorry, y'all. All this air. I'm sitting here with a balloon ass. I can't say balloon ass because I'm belching. I'm not, I have not passed gas. But I don't pass. You know what's so funny? Me passing gas, it depends on what I eat. The only time my body wants to fart, sorry for being blunt, is when I'm around a thousand people and we all packed in one more like damn sardines. That's when I want to fart. Of course, there's a lot of people I want to fart. That's when it stinks. Oh no, I can't. No, let me tell you something. This ass like a tuba. I can play a low note or a high note. Oh no, I'm gonna play a note. And I can hold that note as long as Melba Moore. Melba Moore. Listen to that song called Fall. Listen to Melba Moore. She used to hold long notes. That's my ass. Well, I got a trombone ass. Cause I can hold a note. Trust me. I don't know what it is. I'm a just a gassy person. But I only get gassy. I've been in the house all day by myself. Didn't have gas. Y'all asses come over here. I got a fart. I don't understand why is it that sometimes that I don't have gas when I'm alone. Other times, I have a fart marathon. When people come over here, you all, I'm telling you, I have company, especially at work. Okay. Since we're on a TMI conversation, I did not want, want to bring it up. But since you all brought it up, let me address it. Why is it, fellas, we go to the men's bathroom and you got to pee. You peeing, you clenching them damn ass cheeks because somebody in the bathroom with your ass. And you try so hard not to fart. One day, my VP was in there. I was in the private sector. My VP was in the bathroom. I was like, I was just with the fart. Somebody walked in, I, I, hold, I held it in. My VP stood beside me. We started talking. I had to let it rip. That, that fart is so long and so loud. I was, he was like, he looked at me. He didn't say nothing. That's what the bathroom is for. If you got a fart, go in the bathroom and let it out. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If I got a fart, I might be the damn table. I'm a fart. I might be outside my fart. I'm sorry. I'm just going to let it out. Because sometimes you hold it in, it gets strapped. Like a mouse strap. If you don't let it out right then and there, it's not, it's not coming out. Nope. I'm not going to sit up there in that damn restaurant eating that good food. And I'm my stomach sitting here looking like a damn uh, a, a, a welfare size chitlin. It was that government cheese in it. No. I be, my stomach, I'm not here, my stomach way out there. No, I'm gonna let it out. If it offends you, bye boo. Get your ass up, go home. If I got a fart, I'm gonna fart. And why people get so offended? We talk about shitting and farting. We all do it. You know, maybe I'm more explicit and more comfortable with it, but it's like sex. We all hold, well, I'm not a hoe, I'm a virgin, so I, you know, I can't speak on that. I'm a virgin. But you get my point. Things should not be taboo that we as human beings do. You got animals fucking in front of each other. Hell, they sitting there watching. And we all like, all so, you know, we're all so, I don't know what the word is, so um, um, t uh, uptight. If two animals are out there and meet in front of the babies and the adults, why are we so uptight when we do it? Or are you mad because you're not doing it? Got it?
Why is it that we judge, you know, we look down on people who are so expressive, you know, they don't have any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not uptight. They, 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 they will, they don't care if you're there or not. If I got a P, I I don't do number two in public. Number two, I got to be home. Because I have to wipe and wash up when I'm finished. Now, this this is another TMI conversation. I spend a lot of money on my underwear. I wear polo underwear. And I wear different types of polo underwear. Listen, I poop a lot. I'm not going to have all that hair in the crack of my ass. And I'm walking around with dingleberries in my drawers. Or in the crack of my ass. And I put my drawers up. I got dingleberry stains. That's not sexy. That's not cute. No. So, if you like all that hair, listen, we're all different. I respect it. I don't like all that hair. I like to be... Now, I have not gotten into shaving my stomach or my chest. Because when I say I'm hairy, I'm very hairy. I'm scared that it's going to come out thicker. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. But then again, I shave my face. It doesn't. It does not come out thicker. I might shave my chest and my stomach area and show you all. Do a picture. And sh Cause if you let me tell you something, if you all saw me naked, I only show for the neck up. I mean, from the waist up. When I tell you all, I don't know how I look on camera to you all. If I look thick, cause the camera does lie. But all I can tell you is the people who know me, they will tell you I am itty bitty tiny. No, I'm small. You know, I'm small. So I'm I'm only 120. I had to put some batteries in my um the scale in my bathroom. One of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna get on a scale and weigh myself. Five years after I finished undergrad, I was 105 pounds. I got to 115 pounds. I started crying because I was so happy. I gained 10 pounds. The heaviest I've been was 131. This is so weird. Leah's looking at me. I see Leah in this camera lens. You are. It's freaking me out. But anyway, I have only been 131 pounds. That is my heaviest. I've never been heavier than that. And mostly, I've been in my one... 20s. Well, scratch graduate undergrad and prior, I was much smaller. Since then, been in the 120 range. My average rate like 126. <laughs> Excuse me. Like 126. That's my average weight. So, and if you big, so what? Everybody was not meant to be small. I hate it when big people think that it's attractive to be itty bitty tiny. No. Sometimes when you all get small, be like, mm -mm, get away back. You look sick. You know, everybody's different. I'm the kind of person, if you are thick, big bone, as long as you're healthy, I'm okay with that. Why do you think I call myself Sticks in Charge? Now, my nickname in undergrad at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. They call me Sticks. I was tiny. But I was, they call me Sticks, but I've always been one of those people where I, I, I know what I want. I'm not one of those indecisive people. I've always been in charge of my life. So that's why I named myself. Now, Sticks came from undergrad. I didn't give myself the name. People gave it to me. I hear that? Now, I know damn well. I'm just got them headed. This damn chair. The chair giving out. The chair tired. No. You better not be tired. Shit. No. So, they give it a name. I just added in charge to it. So, in charge means that I'm in charge of my life. And I am. I, I am in full charge of my life. I, I love my life. I, you know. I get down with it. So, you know what? Hold on. I can't sit. Okay. So I don't know what time it is. I don't have a um a clock down here, but I need to get I need to put one over here. 
So I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to say that it's always good talking to you all, my doctors, because you all are the only ones who understand my passion and pain. Passion and pain. No, just joking. And I just want you guys to know I really, really, really appreciate my. So I'm going to sign out now. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you're going to know. Love you all. Have a beautiful Sunday evening. And whatever you are doing this evening, I hope you're being safe. You're in your family. You give love and you receive love. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Okay? So... On that, I am going to say good night, Doc. This therapy session has really helped me. So, peace and blessings on to all of you. Good night.